The Biden administration is celebrating a big win after signing that infrastructure bill into law, and California is set to get a considerable slice of that trillion dollar pie. NBC 4's Robert Kavasik is live in Burbank right now with the uh, promised improvements coming our way. Robert. Improvements, Chuck, big and small. Now, this new law includes specific requests from members of Congress. So here's one example. This is a letter from Representative Adam Schiff, who wants a safety rail put on the Olive Street Bridge connecting Lake and First Street. Money now set aside to do just that and so much more. Some major construction projects are already underway in L.A. County, including extending the Purple Line into West L.A. and a people mover at LAX. But now, could more money put them into high gear? Yeah. The president signing a trillion-dollar infrastructure bill into law, the largest investment in our nation's infrastructure in more than a decade. My message to the American people is this. America's moving again. And your life is going to change for the better. Money for roads, bridges, the power grid, clean water, and broadband internet. And California is getting billions to make it happen, including three and a half billion to fight the drought. Recycled water, uh, getting that back into the system quicker, kind of short circuiting the hydraulic cycle. And so uh, we are really looking for some of that federal funding to help us jumpstart those programs. Public transportation from Metro Bus to Metro Link to Amtrak will benefit even the Union Station upgrade in downtown LA. And along with our roads and our rails, our hills and our mountains. Billions to try and reduce the risk of wildfires, including bearing power lines, hiring more firefighters, and a couple of billion dollars to help Californians fireproof their homes. And remember, creating all these projects means creating new jobs. Senator Dianne Feinstein today said our state's infrastructure has suffered from neglect. And she cites this example. The American Society of Civil Engineers gives California's infrastructure a grade of C-. Live tonight here in Burbank, I'm Robert Kavasik. Colleen, let's go back to you.